This is kimchi, the most iconic Korean food there is. If you ever been to a Korean restaurant, you know exactly what this tastes like. And you guys requested me to give this a try on some steaks. Now to make kimchi, it's a process. But thankfully, I have Chef Brian to give me a hand. So let's begin. Everything starts off with this, Napa cabbage. And to break it, there's a very specific technique. First, cut it in half and then break it apart just like this. Then repeat the process once again to quarter it. Now into a bowl it goes because we gotta salt every single leaf individually. Chef Brian also likes to make a brine. That's just a mixture of salt and water. Once that's done, go ahead and add it to the cabbage. As now, we want to let that soak in overnight. The next ingredient to use is sweet rice flour. So into a bowl, we started boiling some water. Then added that right in. You see, we're trying to make a slurry just like you do it with cornstarch. As soon as it comes to a boil, it will thicken up on you real quick. Now into a blender, we throw in some onions, followed by ginger, garlic, the rice paste we just made, and a little bit of water. Now blend everything on high until it becomes a paste. As the next thing to do is to go ahead and grab a new bowl and add the remaining rice paste into the bowl plus the one we just made, one tablespoon of baby brine shrimp, some fish sauce, a good amount of kochukaro which is Korean chili flakes, followed by green onions, carrots, and Korean radish. Now mix everything together to combine these ingredients and you should be left with something like this. It's the base of kimchi. We gotta let it sit for a little while, it's not ready yet. However, by this time our cabbage is. And here's how you can tell. If you can bend it without breaking, you know it's ready. As now, the next thing to do is to go ahead and add that paste to every single leaf of the cabbage. You want to be generous with it, but most importantly, ensure that every single one of these leaves are fully covered. And in the end, it should look something like this. Then you want to tuck up the tip just like a baby, and into a container it goes to ferment. This is a very time-consuming process. Most people will never make kimchi on their life. If you have the chance, I highly recommend doing it once. And after fermenting the kimchi for quite a while, it is now time to put it to good use. And for that, I have three beautiful steaks. As you can see, they are one and a half inches thick. They also have great marbling and exactly what I look for whenever I'm buying steaks. The first thing to do is to go ahead and get them seasoned. First, I went with a good amount of salt followed by freshly ground black pepper and garlic powder. Not only did I make sure to season both sides, but also the edges. And our very first steak is going to be the control. I'm not doing anything with it. The second one, I'm going to be adding the kimchi. And hopefully, it is going to be a lot better than a regular steak. The third one, on the other hand, we're going to be making a kimchi compound butter. So after throwing everything into the bag, I want to have vacuum seal them. They are now ready for sous vide. Talking about that, I'll be cooking all of them in the same container at 135 degrees Fahrenheit for two hours. And I cannot wait to find out how they're going to taste. As that was happening, Chef Brian went ahead and made us an incredible Korean side dish. Now, I'll be honest with you. This is incredible. It is a Chef Brian special potato salad. Now, to make it, it takes quite a bit of ingredients. However, oh, Oh boy, is it worth it. And here's how it's done. The first thing to do is to go ahead and cook some Spam. Notice that he cut it in nice small cubes. The important thing is to get a nice crust on only one side, because once it's done, it's now ready. He did the same exact thing to some pineapple. He wanted some extra flavor, and for that, he went ahead and smoked the pineapple. As that was smoking, he went ahead and cooked some potatoes. They're just cut in quarters, and they are nice and soft. So with the potatoes, he threw in some white onions, followed by garlic, green onions, the smoked pineapple, those perfectly little diced spam that we just made, some cochucado, a good amount of kewpie mayo, some sour cream, and salt. Now the only thing left to do is to go ahead and mix all of these ingredients together, and as he's doing so, he's also smashing the potato by hand. As in the end, he put it in a nice presentation plate because the only thing left to do is to go ahead and add some Korean barbecue sauce right on top of it. And to make the sauce, it is super simple, and here's how. He first started with ketchup, followed by brown sugar, apple juice, gochujang, molasses, rice vinegar, fish sauce, mustard powder, smoked paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, and a tiny bit of cayenne for some kick. Now mix everything together, let it reduce until it comes the consistency you're happy with, as the only thing left to do now is to add a little bit of sesame oil. And once you are happy with the consistency, your Korean style barbecue sauce is done. And I'll tell you one thing, this thing is delicious, and it should be perfect to go along with the salad. And at the same time, I cannot wait to find out how the steaks are gonna taste with it, because the only thing left we have to do is our compound butter. And this one is super simple. Into the food process 
I threw in some kimchi and blend it on high. Then I added butter. Blend it once again, threw it in some clinch plastic, rolled the whole thing up. Into the refrigerator you went to solidify. As once it has done so, my kimchi compound butter is now done. It does not get any easier than that, friends. Simple and easy kimchi compound butter. Will it be better than the regular kimchi steak? Well, we're about to find out right now. Because by this time, my steaks were fully cooked. So I opened up the bag. And since the kimchi already did its job, I went ahead and removed it. And take a look at this. Oh, man. The looks are not that good. And the main reason is because we need a crust. So I went ahead, pet it dry really good. And even though I did, I know exactly what you're thinking. I know my steaks don't look that good right now. But watch this. Alright everybody, here we got our beautiful steaks. Thank you for being here, Chef Brian. Dude, my pleasure. It is such an honor to be here. Man, watching you make kimchi was incredible. Making kimchi is something that's truly special to the Korean culture. I think it's fair to say that kimchi is pretty much the MSG of Korea. You know what? I think that's fair to say for right? sure, yeah. Gotta say, it smells delicious. And I say, enough talking, let's eat, yes? Let's do it. <laughs> ah, somebody's been watching me. <laughs> let's go right here. All Please right. dig in. Let's go on the first one right here. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm -mm. Phenomenal, phenomenal steak right here. It's well seasoned and I really, really love the beef flavor on this one. Honestly, it's very well rounded. It's everything I would want from a steak and specifically from a sous vide steak. So yeah, it's great, man. You make sous vide steak, it's gonna be great every single time. I say enough talking, let's go for the second one. As you can see, the second one has a little something special, special. Please dig in. Mm -hmm. Make sure you got that specialness. Mm -hmm. I think we like to say, was it a crumbly crust? <laughs> <laughs> crumbly crust. You smell this, you smell. Oh, you're already going. I'm going, I'm going. I don't know what, what's taking you guys so damn long. Well. You're holding me back. Enough talking, let's give it a try. Cheers. <laughs> oh. oh. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. That is what I like to say. 10 out of 10, we'll highly recommend everybody. Why is this so much better? Uh, number one, it's got that compound butter and we cooked it with the torch so the milk solids are gonna cook. It's gonna give you that nutty flavor. There's also the kimchi within the compound butter that's giving a lot of flavor separation, but it's still working harmoniously. Yeah. And uh, some of that fermented funk almost yeah. accentuating yeah. the steak. It's a little spicy too. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna slap you in the face and kill you. It's just amazing. I think that is a huge improvement from the previous steak that we just had. Yes. Like Brian was saying, it yeah. has a very oh, different oh. flavor profile that has oh, so oh. many different uh, flavors on it. It's a little bit spicy, it's a little bit acidic, a little bit vinegary. The best part about it is I think all of those elements, they're all there, yeah. but they're not too powerful. It still tastes like a steak, but it's just a better steak, everybody. Yeah, no. But I really wanna try your side dish because yeah. that looks phenomenal. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Mm. Oh, not too bad. Not too bad, what are you talking about? That's perfect. <laughs> Thank you. It goes so well with the steak. It brings out the freshness because of that pineapple. I had a lot of potato salad in my life, but I never had a potato salad like that, Chef Brian. That's a 10 out of 10, everybody. You gotta give that a go. I'm absolutely blown away by not only the flavors on here, but also the textures. It's all kind of uh, creamy with the potato salad, but then you have the pineapple in there with a little bit of bite. And when you chew on the pineapple, it releases the pineapple juices, so it adds that normal Normally savory dish, it gives that sweetness throughout that's just on the money, it's perfect. Pineapple is my mom's secret ingredient for her bulgogi recipe. So this oh. is paying a little homage to her. Nobody cooks better than mom. I'll drink to that. But I'm excited for the last steak. I am excited. Mm, let's give it a try right now, please dig in. Go. Yes, sir. You Let's don't see. have to ask me twice. You know, I have, um, I personally have never done anything like this before. And mm. I also don't recall seeing anyone do this before. Me neither. Yeah. Kimchi sous vide steak. Kimchi sous vide steak. Kimchi MSG. Kimchi MSG sous, sous vide steak. steak. That's a long title, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Enough talking. Let's give it a go. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Mm. 
it's a good steak. I do get a little hints of kimchi in there. Just something plays a lot better with the compound butter. I agree. I like the yeah. compound butter better. I agree with both of you where I think the compound butter was the better steak. This last one that we tried, it's still a nice steak, but I, I think maybe the kimchi flavors and the beef mixed a little bit too much and it, you kind of lose that beefiness that makes a steak so wonderful. So definitely my favorite is the compound butter. Uh, so one thing I'd like to say is my grandmother did pass away a day ago. I was kind of torn if I should actually come here from New York at all. But I also know for a fact that she would have wanted me to come here. And also I'm really honored that I got to make kimchi for your channel. And if I'm not mistaken, I'm the first guy to make 100%. kimchi. It means a lot to me. Um, I'm getting a little emotional now. But um, yeah, Harmony, I love you. Uh, you will be forever missed, but I choose to celebrate your life rather than mourn. And you know, I've had my tears, but finally, I just want to say this episode's dedicated to you. She is going to be super proud of you, brother, because that kimchi was incredible. Appreciate that. That means a lot to me coming from you. Thank 100%. you so much. And guys, if you don't know Chef Brian, go check out his channel. It will be in the description down below. He is not only funny, but he also gives the right inside on every review you make. I try. As a viewer myself, I am subscribed to your channel. I love it. Thank you, man. That yeah. means a lot. Appreciate and now that it. you collaborated with us, we're friends for life, brother. For life, bro. Yeah, Thank let you. us know in the comments down below what should Chef Brian make next? Because next time you gotta make me a sandwich. Because he got the best sandwich shop in New York, everybody. Go check him out. Everything will be on the link in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, everything I use is always on the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.